History Punch. Today's episode about the attempted murder of Austrian Emperor Franz Josef. This is the Votive Church, or Votivkirche in German. It was completed in 1879, cost a fortune to build, and is the second most impressive church in the whole of Vienna. Impressive, right? Well, wait until you hear why they built it in the first place. Someone just tried to kill the emperor with a knife to the neck. It's 1853. The emperor, Franz Joseph, is walking along here, the bastion, with his army friend, Irish aristocrat from Clan O'Donnell, taking their morning stroll, when all of a sudden, a young apprentice tailor comes running up to the emperor with a large dagger, attempts to stab the emperor in the neck. Luckily, the emperor is wearing a very fancy uniform with a stiff collar and the knife is deflected away from his neck and he suffers just but a flesh wound. A passing butcher tackles to the ground Janosz Lebenyi, the apprentice tailor. The Irish army friend takes his saber and strikes a blow to him and he's arrested. Later, he's executed. The emperor survives, live another day. So why does an apprentice tailor want to kill the young 23 year old emperor anyway? History punch, history punch. Facts, facts, facts. Janos Lebenje was a Hungarian nationalist and in 1853, Hungary was a small cog in the big Austrian Empire machine and it wasn't that happy being in it. In fact, at that time, Austria was a big deal and it had an empire which stretched all the way from Italy over the Alps to Bohemia, Hungary and beyond. And not everyone was happy to be in it and so it's no big surprise that a nationalist like Lebenje would come along and try and kill the young new emperor. In fact, Franz Joseph had been put on the throne at the young age of 18 to fix this mess by a scheming mother and to stop the breakup of the empire. Luckily for the empire, the emperor survived to live another day and so did the empire itself. Well, thank God, eh? Well, thank God they did by giving a votive blessing to God as thanks by building the church we saw earlier, the votive church. It wasn't going to be the last assassination attempt on the emperor or his family. Later, Maximilian, who had come up with the idea of the vote of church and later was emperor of Mexico, was also assassinated. Sisi, Franz Joseph's wife, again assassinated. And finally, Franz Joseph's nephew, famously Franz Ferdinand, was killed in Sarajevo and that kicked off the First World War. But that, my friends, is another story. Hey, if you like this video, click subscribe for our channel and we'll see you soon.